If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here, along with my good friend Gunner, who's running his janky homebrew. This is Grixis Eldrazi, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so tell me, what made you... What made you want to actually? Yeah, maybe that's a later question. Let's start off. Yeah, of Chris and what does the deck do? We're like it starts casting very large Eldrazi for very small amounts of mana. Okay, and I'm seeing some very large Eldrazi here. There's the, your one of Ulamog, yes, and we sir. only need one with the Sanctums of Ugin. That's mm -hmm. fair. And the Conduit as well. That's right. Here's our uh, our replacement for Annihilator in standard. There's Bane of Balaget. Yep. Uh, I've been able to get him out around turn five on a really good hand. Okay, okay, so seven five makes them exile, that's fine. Eats the field. <laughs> Seems good. Uh, Conduit of Ruin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this makes them cheaper and tutors them to the top? Yes sir, yes sir. Now, it looks so, like the only ones that tutors are Bane and Ulamog, but so these are the... Yeah, they just ba they tutor straight into the win cons. Once I'm playing these guys, I'm going for the win. Okay, and then while this one makes them simply cheaper, uh, Coslex Channel will, Channeler will actually just tap for two, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so just... And it's big enough it can serve as its own beater. 4-4 four, four is nothing to snuff at in standard. Oh, yeah. And then next you have... Harold. Harold, Harold, <laughs> Harold of Kozlek. Okay, so this is part. This is a lot of why we're in. This is right? this is my major <laughs> centerpiece of the deck, basically. Sure. He's so, dropping spell prices and everything else. Survives uh, incendiary flow. Survives mm -hmm. a naked harness lightning. Yeah. And turn three, two, four. That's really not bad. No, it's not. That's and true. And unlike a lot of defenders, he can actually swing back. And then we have one more uh, Eldrazi. It looks like we have the Benthic yeah. Infiltrator. Yep. What is this? That this is, is there to be annoying. So it can't be blocked. It has ingest. Mm -hmm. All right. So for three mana. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of just there to be a body that draws in removal. It, it, it just you want it gone. Okay. And at the same time, it does work. I mean, it blocks most of the small creatures in standard. Sure. It's, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but that one builds up, and you know, you never. <laughs> yeah. If I drop a gear hulk into exile, people start crying. The fact that it has four tough. This seems, seems real good, seems real consequential. Yeah, nothing small. Alright, so we have one more creature, however, though. Yeah, the only guy that dies easy. <laughs> so we have our little 1 3, Burl, Chief of Compliance. Rip Burl. Instant Sorceress costs one less to cast. I can understand not running the full four, it's yes. legendary, mm -hmm. and then it loots when you counter a spell, which I think we do a pretty good bit in this deck. I'm looking right now at uh, We've got our Less than I used to. Yeah, Fair three of negate. Which, Barl, well not Harold, but Barl drops that down to a one drop, which is the glorious bit. Yep. But Harold does work on our other counter spells. Spell Shrivel. The Devoid, and it's a, a bigger mana leak, but it costs you more, but it exiles it too. And that's why that's that's why I'm trying to run mostly Devoid spells, because Harold drops the cost of anything colorless. That's right. So, so a Harold and a Barl on the field, or two Heralds, all of a sudden I'm casting that for one. That's right. So, one mana... Four, four spikes, and it exiles it. Yes, sir. That seems pretty good. All right, so I'm also seeing here that we have Kozlek's return. This is part of why he's running the the high toughness creatures like Benthic Infiltrator. Two damage will not kill yours and will take out aggro opponents. Yeah, I have a lot of trouble removing early game creatures, especially if they go wide. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's just a no-brainer. Okay. Makes sense. And then in the late game, it's <laughs> <Boom. laughs> good. Yeah, late game, if it gets crazy, I just hit the button. <laughs> All right. Uh, next we have Harness Lightning, because this is standard. Yes. Even without Smuggler's Copter, still makes the cut, you think, right? Yeah. The reason I'm specifically running Smuggler's Copters over things like, well, any other burn spell. Harness Lightning? Yeah. Over, oh, yeah. over uh, Incendiary Flow, because it's instant, mm -hmm. and it goes well with the Glimmer of Genius. Okay. They feed into each other in a good way. So the Glimmer of Genius gets me my card draw and feeds into this. Speaking of which, good old Glimmer of Genius. Scry two, draw two, two energy. Fair enough. Uh, now, lastly, this is the only black card I'm black card in the main deck. It's devoid, so whatever. Uh, transgress the mind. Really more of a sideboard thing. I'm honestly trying to still work out those last two slots there. It's yeah. Very, it's just a very interchangeable but also very valued card. Okay. Especially when I go casting that for one mana. 
Now, if you're wondering why he has wandering fumarole and not, I, I told you just today, and we, you'll uh, you'll pick him up, I'm sure, because this seems like something you'd like to do about the, it's I think called crackdown construct, the four mana artifact that goes infinite with this baby. Uh, that might help you with your flex slots a little bit. Actually, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about that, I didn't. That hadn't occurred to me. Harold will make it cheaper. Uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to find it with conduit. But if yeah. you run four of each, I think you'll have a good enough. Yeah. You'll have an easy enough time. Other than that, it's just good in the control matchup if I get shut down. All right, and so our lands uh, to start off. Uh, let's get the easy ones out of the way. So we have two sunken hollow, our uh, battle lands for uh, Demir, one choked estuary. We have uh, three spire bluff canal. We have a smoldering marsh, so a good a good variety here. Foreboding ruins. Got an island, or two islands, two mountains, three islands. Let me just finish sorting these first. You're a troll. <laughs> You're a troll. All right, so three islands, three mountains, and two swamps. All full arts. Shout outs to full arts. Oh yeah. All right, so and then of course we have we we talked about fumarole, and these lands actually act as an engine for me. Uh, yeah, Shrine of Forsaken Gods. All right. Yeah, it's obviously it's uh, you know, it, it's fair enough. It's one mana or two later on in the game. Yes, you sir. don't have any ramp, but you have enough control. You can get out long enough to oh, yeah, uh, yeah. start looping those. I really Ulog. don't have a problem getting there. I believe you. Yeah, um, I got to a point where just with the Conduit of Ruins and the Herald of Kozleks, I was casting Kozlek Channelers for zero. Yes. And then the second Kozlek Channel was tapping one. Yep. Six more lands left over. There you go. And then, of course, Sanctum of Ugin goes and gets... Yep. Da -da, gets Bane of Balaged or the Ulamog. Straight into Wind Factor. Yeah. Now, as for the sideboard, just really quickly, I'm seeing... Uh, well, you, you, you can talk about your sideboard choices. Well, the sideboard is not the most focused thing right now. Uh, as of yet, no deck has really taken over to give me a single-minded direction. Sure. Vehicles fell out. Delirium's not as popular around here as it was. Mm -hmm. So it's just very general. Very basic, so I have I have a uh, planeswalker kills. We have our oh, oh sorry, yeah, just anti planeswalker work. Two ruinous path. Yeah, that's right. Um, if they go incredibly wide, I have more herald of uh, return. return. Yep, yeah, fair more enough. More Kozlex return. Sure, um, sounds good. Some basic incendiary flows for burn. Yeah, for burn, just, more uh, more creature removal, yeah. exiles them, yeah. More draw and a little bit more control with the Anticipate and Void Shatter. Yeah, he has three Anticipates and how many Void Shatters? Um, two Void Shatter sideboard. Okay, seems good. To supplement the exile you already have in Spell Shrivel. Mm -hmm. And just uh, another thing I can swap in and out as necessary, Fatal ah. Push. Because everybody likes this card. I don't even need to show this one. Everyone knows what this is. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I uh, I appreciate it, dude. Looks it looks pretty sick, actually. It's fun for a homebrew. Yeah. And paying zero mana for a Coslex channeler seems right about where you want to be. Oh yeah. All right. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Now, you don't happen to have a YouTube channel or a website or anything I can plug for you, do you? Uh, not right now. No, nothing that isn't like ten years old. If that changes, I will put that in the description. Works for me. Take care.